Okay, the pattern I'm going to show you now is one called the shrimp cocktail, which is a, a very simple pattern uh, that I came up with a couple years ago. Uh, pink flies have gotten to be a really big thing out here in the wintertime on the, on the spring creeks down in Paradise Valley, on the Madison, and really just about everywhere. Uh, and so this is, is a, a, a very simple fly uh, that seems to get great results. Um, now I'm going to start with a uh, TMCO 2457 uh, scud hook, which is a size 16, uh, which is a nice stout hook, doesn't have trouble bending. Uh, I really like that one. And I'm going to put a, um, a 332nd nickel bead on here. Weasel that on the hook, and now we're all set. I'll put that in the vise, get it sticking out a little bit more. And then I'm using a pink A dot thread here. I'm just going to go ahead and start that right in the middle of the hook shank. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this material, which is a pink Darlon, which is a synthetic material, kind of like an Antron uh, yarn. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie that in more or less up behind the bead and I'm going to wrap back over top of it all the way down around the shank. This is going to end up being my tail and I want it to point down a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim that off, leave it about an eighth of an inch and I can trim off the end behind the bead here. And then I'll go ahead and wrap my thread back up towards the thorax area. Now oftentimes I might add some clear microtubing right in front of the tail and wrap that to cover this body which toughens it up a little bit. It doesn't improve the uh, fish catching ability of the fly but it does make it look a little bit nicer. Um, so that's something you can do. Since I don't have that today I'm going to put a, uh, a little bit of head cement right on there just to toughen it up a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is add a wing case to it and I use, uh, I've just got a, a sheet of pearlescent mylar material here and I have this kind of crinkled uh, variety which I, I kind of like. This, the flat plain variety works just fine but it seems like this uh, um, crinkled stuff works pretty well and just has a little bit more life to it. So I've got a nice little strip of it cut right there and I'm going to go ahead and tie that right in behind the bead on top of the hook. Now when I'm done tying it in it's going to be the thread is going to be hanging directly at the point of the hook. That's real important because I want the thorax on this fly uh, to be fairly decent size. Now the material I'm going to use to uh, tie this thorax is um, this pink UV dubbing um, which I'm not sure if the UV has anything, any major value to it with this fly, but, but the, the flash in the material seems to work well. And I've put it on there pretty thick. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this right in behind the bead. And I, I put a pretty good ball of it on there. It's going to end up getting flattened out quite a bit as I pull the wing case over. So I've got it right behind the bead. And now that I've got that nice and full in there, bigger than it looks like it should be, I'm going to go ahead and pull this wing case over nice and tight. And I'll tie that right in behind the bead and I just broke my thread. Okay, so I just broke my thread right there and what I can do, this happens fairly often, um, is I can go ahead and just start the thread right back in where it was. And as long as I whip finish this and put some cement on it, the fly will stay together just fine. And now I'm going to just go ahead and take that wing case, cut it short, make sure the bead is sitting on there well, and just fill that in with thread, and whip finish it. And I've always used the whip finish tool instead of my hands, just because I feel like I can really aim that knot exactly where I want it to go, uh, which I'm not able to do with my hands quite as well. So. And there we have it. Now the last thing I can do if I want is go in there with my bodkin, my dubbing needle, and just go ahead and fluff that up a little bit. And fish more than likely take this as an egg pattern, but also as a scud, it's, it's, it's hard to say, but the pink really does seem to work well, and it's a fly that I think could do well for you.